Hi guys, sorry that I am not here for your second day of school, um, but I'm going to have you guys paste some stuff in your notebook anyways and take a little bit of notes. Um, so make sure that you have gotten all four papers from the table by the door. Make sure you have your glue stick and your notebook out. Um, if you weren't here yesterday, uh, grab a notebook and a glue stick from the table and um, follow along as best you can with maybe the people around you to help you. Um, skip the first four pages of that notebook um, and start on page four. So on page four, you're going to uh, paste in, it should be a little half sheet, um, this unit one formula chart reference sheet. Paste that on page four. Paste the second page of that on page five. Remember, we numbered them yesterday. Um, you're going to get to use those two things on your tests and quizzes. Um, we will fill them as in as we go. I'll come back. When I come back, I will help you guys fill them in from what we've learned. Um, then on page six, you're going to paste in that other half sheet, left side practice. Your left side practice will always go on that type of page. And then lastly, you're going to paste on page 7 the notes for today and tomorrow. You're going to fold it hamburger way. So remember um, where that blank side can get glued down. Glue it down on the blank slide. Um, you should have it to where it folds open and you can um, write on all three pages of those notes. If you want to, go ahead and pause here. So you can complete that, and then you can go on with the video. So after you guys have finished pasting, um, we're going to just look at those notes today. Um, like I said, the reference charts, you'll look at them um, when we get back, and we'll kind of start filling them in. And left side practice, you're going to look at tomorrow. Um, so today and tomorrow, we're going to go through just some basic vocabulary and um, things for geometry. Today we're just going to go over the vocabulary and fill all of that in. Um, so we will not be doing uh, naming the following annotation or notation. Um, those kinds of problems. We're going to save that till tomorrow. Um, so we're just going to fill in all of this vocabulary. So geometry. Geometry is a branch of mathematics. Uh, that studies the sizes, shapes, angles, and dimensions of things. Um, there are two types of geometry that we have. We have spherical geometry, and we have Euclidean geometry. No, that's a weird word. It's actually a guy's name. Uh, spherical geometry, like you can see, um, it is a sphere, it uses a sphere to plot points and uses great circles. So think of things like um, astrology and navigation, because it's plotting it around um, a sphere. Whereas Euclidean geometry, which is the one that we will be using and kind of looking at this year, is used on lines and you plot, or sorry, planes, and you plot points and lines, so it's flat, not three-dimensional. Um, and we base it all off of these definitions. Okay? Um, these definitions that we're basing it off of um, are the ways we can prove geometry facts are true. So conjectures, postulates, and theorems. They all kind of mean relatively um, the same thing about how, how to prove things, um, but each of them are a little bit different in how you can prove that it is true. So conjectures might be true, but they have not been proven yet. So that's your job is to try and prove it. Um, it's kind of like a hypothesis in science. Postulates is taken to be true without proof. Um, so think of something that is absolutely true all the time, um, like the sky is above us, 
gravity pulls us down, um, taken to be true. Um, theorems are proven to be true already. So they've already been proven. We already know they're true. So somebody started off with a conjecture and proved it. Um, so we already know that it works. In geometry, we also have things called undefined terms and defined terms. Undefined terms are terms that cannot be measured. Um, so think about things that can be measured, like I would be able to say that something is six feet away. Um, undefined terms are things that you cannot say that about. So three main ones, points, lines, and planes. Um, you can't measure a point. Uh, you cannot measure a line because it goes on forever. And a plane also extends on forever, so you cannot measure them. Okay, um, a point is the location of something. Next to it, we have what it would look like. So here is a picture of a point. And notation is how we name it. We name it using a capital letter. A line is a one-dimensional object. And it extends in two directions. So kind of like you did in algebra, a line went through all the points that you would plot and it would go on forever. It goes off into those two directions without stopping. Um, we normally name a line using two points, like this line over here would be CD, with a line picture above, like this, or with a lowercase cursive letter. A plane is a two-dimensional object that extends in all directions. Kind of looks like a tabletop or a nice rectangular parallelogram there. Um, pictures right next to it. Um, we name it using a capital letter, capital cursive letter or a bold letter, um, or three non-collinear points, and we'll talk about what collinear is in a second. Define terms, like I said, we're going to skip those parts, and we're just going to do vocabulary today, um, and we'll come back and do the other parts tomorrow. Define terms are things that can be measured, like I can say that that line segment is six feet long or something like that. We have three of those. Um, we have a ray. A ray begins at a point and extends in one direction without stopping. Um, we name it using two points with a ray picture above it. So this ray in particular would be called J, K, and the arrow goes from J through K. Your endpoint not the arrow, would always be named first. And we're going to take that arrow off to the right. You also have a line segment. It's a piece of a line. That's why it's called the line segment. And it stops at two endpoints. So instead of going on forever, it stops. We can measure it. It's named using, again, two points with a line segment above it. So this would be UV. No arrows on that. And then you also have an angle. An angle is an object created by two rays that share a common endpoint. So it's going to look like a ray, and they're sharing an endpoint, or that's two rays, and they come together at the endpoint. So right here we have ray QP, and we have ray QR, and it makes angle PQR. We name it using three points with an angle picture in front. The endpoint that they share is always going to be in the middle, so I could also name it angle RQP. Notice that hinge or that angle is always in the middle. Here's some additional vocabulary that we have. Um, we have collinear, that is when you have two or more points on the same line. 
co meaning, you know, with, and linear meaning line. So two or more points on the same line. Um, you can see here that we have A, B, and C. I'm sorry, I think that's three. I messed up there. Three or more points because any two points can make a line, so any two points will always be collinear. So three or more points, though, on the same line. So here we have A, B, and C are collinear. Coplanar, kind of similar to collinear, they're all points that lie on the same plane. Um, that does not mean they have to lie on the same line. So if you notice this one, C, B, D, they do not lie on the same line if we were to draw them, but they are all on the same plane. And you also have opposite rays um, that share a common endpoint, kind of like an angle, but that angle or that endpoint then goes off in opposite directions. Okay, opposite directions. So here we have ray KJ and ray KL. Um, you see instead of making an angle, um, they make a straight line. So opposite rays will kind of always make a line for you or what we like to call a straight angle. We'll get into that a little bit more next week. Okay, we're going to stop here. Um, again, we're going to fill in um, the rest of that tomorrow um, and then kind of come back and do that putting it together. Um, now I want you guys to go to a Desmos activity um, that's linked on Canvas. Um, you can do it with the people in your group. It's just over some vocabulary. Um, talk about it. Make sure you get that done. Um, have a good day.